Hi, I'm Uma. Welcome to Queen Lux. If you're like me and you're starting to go grey, but you don't want to put any chemicals on your hair, you might be interested in watching this video because I'm going to be showing you how you can cover up your grey like I've got here. I mean, mine is kind of salt and peppery. I do not have dyed hair at all. Stopped dyeing it about four or five years ago and I've been gradually cutting it all out. Um, so this is natural hair. How it will work on someone who's got um, chemicals on their hair, I wouldn't like to say. I would suggest that you do a strand test first. But this is a very good and natural way of color uh, covering up your greys, making them a sort of golden um, hint, golden highlights in your hair. Um, I'm talking about using cassia leaf, or its official name is cassia obovata. Some people confuse it with henna, but it's not henna. It's very similar to henna in so much as uh, it looks the same. It's a green powder, but it has absolutely no dye in it, so you won't end up with um, brown, orangey, or red hands, which who wants that? This is uh, um, mixed then with um, chamomile flowers, which I steep, I make a tea, and um, before putting it onto my hair and leaving it on my hair for about three hours. So um, we're gonna go down to the kitchen now steep the chamomile and then later on turn it into a paste and then stick it on the hair. So come with me. Okay, so this is what you'll need to make your chamomile tea. Small teapot, measuring jug, some dried chamomile flowers. I get mine from the Alchemist's Apothecary uh, online from Amazon. A uh, 100 gram bag cost me 195 and then once I've opened it I store it in a glass container just to keep it nice and fresh and it looks pretty in there too. So in my teapot, I've already put in um, two heat tablespoons of flowers and I've topped up uh, with 500 mils of boiling water and I'm going to leave that to steep now for probably a couple of hours. You can steep for anything from half an hour to overnight, depending on how strong a tint you want, but none of the tints come out that strong, to be honest, so don't worry, you're not going to end up with bright, brassy hair just a light golden tint. And then we're going to mix it once it's steeped with the um, cassia leaf. Here is the cassia leaf powder that I use. It's by a company called It's Pure and it's certified organic. I buy it online from a company called Sylvana. I'll see if I can flash that up. There we are, that's them. Um, and I get uh, two lots of 100 gram bags and that costs Eleven ninety-five, and for me I can get uh, four treatments out of these two bags. Um, I'm now going to mix it with the steeped chamomile. And you can see I've left this overnight so you can see it's quite strong. Right, I'm now going to mix this in. It wants to be a sort of yogurty consistency, so quite runny, kind of like a batter. And um, I'm holding the camera as I'm doing this, so I might have to switch off and show you again when it's all smooth. So this is the consistency you're looking for. It just wants to plop off the floor like that. And now we're going to leave it for a couple of hours and then apply to the hair. Right, so we're ready to apply. As you can see, I've changed. I put on an old bikini when I do something less like this, unless it's the winter and then it's an old towel that I wrap around me. Here's the goo. I've had this sitting now for three hours, so it's really about as intense as it's going to get. And I'm going to divide my hair into sections. Um, as you can see, my hair is greasy. Um, it has also got coconut oil in it. Difference, uh, because some people put oil into the mix. So I think if you've got slightly greasy hair, it's not going to hurt it. Um, anyway, you want to be armed with some rubber gloves, um, a hairband, and then just start applying it. Like so. And of course you are going to need a timer. Um, I'm going to leave mine on. I never leave it on for more than three hours. Um, anything from an hour to three is fine and you'll see from mine how it comes out 
Let's see. Let's uh, massage it in. Applying it's fine, it's washing it off, I find it's annoying there. And nearly done. Right, so that's all on. Now I'm just going to add a piece of resistance, a plastic bag that I'm going to stick over my head. And voila, I shall see you all again in three hours. Bye. So here's my little green mask. It's gone stiff, as you can see, a bit chalky. I've had it on for two and a half hours now and I'm ready to take it off because I've had enough. Uh, this is the bit I dread. It does make a mess. I do mine in the sink. You might want to do yours in the shower. Um, when I've done it, when I've washed it off, I put on a good uh, conditioning treatment. I use this one. It's Keratin Restore by Wella. It's got a lovely smell and um, it does the job. So see you in a bit. So I'm just giving it a quick towel dry and then I will blow dry it properly. So, here's the finished result. Um, I'm really pleased with it. It feels lovely and thick and lustrous. I'm going to go to the window so you can see how golden it is and shiny. I read last night, I found this out, and it was new, I didn't know this, but if you add apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon, or lemon juice, then um, that will also intensify the colour when you mix it with the cassia leaf, you know, the steeping of the cam chamomile flowers. Anyway, it's worth a try, but I've been getting good results just by doing the video that I've shown you anyway. But this would make it uh, more intense and longer lasting. So I hope you give it a go, and thanks for watching.